What is up guys, Kosho here, Garage De La Swole, and I apologize that this is not the most aesthetic and production filled video ever. But here we are for the knowledge of my program and as I figure out the ever expanding universe of conjugate method. So I would highly encourage you guys to watch the video I'll link above explaining my general template how I'm modifying it over time. Uh, we're gonna dive deeper in these videos to give you guys more clarity on my mindset on what I'm doing. And if it can benefit you in any way, take these ideas, change them, mold them. Uh, but I wanna dive a little bit deeper because that was a very lengthy video. And I felt like I left some things out or skimmed over or my brain was about to explode and I was about to hemorrhage. And I didn't wanna die on camera. I wanna give an example of how I've been doing my max effort days and my dynamic effort days more in depth. So for here, we have the example of my max effort lower. And when I start off with this, I'm doing some sort of deadlift variation on your max effort days. Typically what they recommend you do is you do a variation of your competition lift. Now where it gets a little bit tricky for me, since I'm not doing power lifting where we have the squat bench and dead, I'm doing strongman. So I'm gearing this to increase my conventional deadlift as well as deadlift that I'll probably be seeing in a competition, which is more likely to be a frame deadlift. So for my variation, I'm doing the trap bar deadlift. Now, one thing I would say you could do, and I'm gonna experiment more in the future with, would be alternating each week with this week, say I do a trap bar deadlift, and then week two, I do some sort of squat variation. I don't typically care too much about my squat at the moment. My squat's always been very strong and typically we're not doing squats in strongman. So I'm gonna stick with the trap bar throughout this entire wave. Now what you could do, like I said, since it's gonna be a four week wave is do your deadlift variation on week one, squat variation on week two, deadlift on week three, squat on week four. But I'm just sticking with that deadlift throughout the entirety of the block. And the way that I have it laid out is week one, we're gonna do a five rep max on the trap bar and then we're gonna do two or three back off sets. Now you can regulate how many sets you're doing based on fatigue and how much you wanna put volume towards that mover. Uh, but when I'm doing that, typically I'm gonna take off anywhere from 10 to 20% and then I'm gonna do those back off sets. Now those back off sets, I like using RPE where I'm going for as many reps as I can until I hit an RPE eight. So if I get on that back off from that five rep max, up to say seven reps and I can only do two more hypothetically, that's where I cut that set and I'll repeat that for two to three sets. Week two, we're gonna do the same thing, but we're gonna do a three rep max plus those two or three back offs. And then week three, we're gonna go for a one rep max and do our two or three back offs. And then week four, you have the optional deload. If you feel like you need a deload, you can take it or maybe you do a low stress where you work up to just your heavy set with no back off, so you're still going high intensity, but you're cutting out volume so you can recover a bit, that's totally up to you. Then from there, we wanna do our supplemental work. So supplemental work is going to be a variation that we are trying to work on a weak area of our lift, but also go heavy. So for me, I've been doing RDLs, and I'm typically doing three or four sets, anywhere from three to six reps, and the way that I'm doing this week by week is week one, I'll do three sets of five to six reps, and then I'll do week two, uh, three sets of four to five reps, and then week three, we're gonna do uh, three sets of three to four uh, reps. I don't know why that's an M, it's supposed to be a W. Clearly, I had some sort of synapse not fire correctly in my brain. Uh, and then week four, if you wanted to deload, you could, or you could do another heavy set uh, for three to four reps or something like that. But like I said, this is gonna be typically heavier uh, because we're working strength. So we're getting that extra volume in that strength rep range and we're targeting weak points. So for the RDLs, I'm looking to just light that posterior chain up. Typically they always say a lot of people can always get stronger in the glutes. So I'm getting some glute activation, getting some hamstrings in there and some low back for the posterior chain. Now after that, we have accessory work, which is gonna be the repetition method, AKA kind of bodybuilding hypertrophy. And once again, this is gonna to gear towards more our weak points. So for me, I'm typically gonna do some sort of Bulgarian squat, or I'm going to do uh, a lunge variation. I've been sticking with the Bulgarians, 
Then if you wanted to, you could do your reverse hypers here. I know conjugate method loves reverse hypers. So we're able to get those repetitions in while also watching systemic fatigue and loading on the spine, but we're getting activation of the glutes, hamstrings, posterior chain doing those. And then if you want, you can add in your ab accessory work, which could be whatever you choose. Typically when I'm doing the accessory work, I'm doing two to four sets and we're gonna work that 10 to 12 rep range. You can do more, you can do a little less. I probably wouldn't go lower than eight because we're trying to get a good amount of volume here. And this is gonna be more, you know, if you wanna throw in isolation work or machine work, you can. I'm just dealing with what I have in my garage gym. I don't have a ton of machines. So these were the examples of exercises that I use. Now, once again, you wanna tailor this to your weaknesses and the accessories could be biased towards your quad, hamstrings, glutes, or lower back. So. This is what I'm doing. Like I said, you can switch any of these for the accessories that you find best to work with you. Or like I said, if you have access to more machines, this is a great place to use your machine work. So that's kind of an example of a max effort lower day for me and how I would progressively do that over the span of the four week wave. And like I said, at the end I could deload uh, or if I wanted to keep pushing, I could kind of figure out where my body starts to break down due to fatigue. And then I can just repeat this again if I want, or I can make some adjustments. Maybe I wanna switch the deadlift or squat variation. Maybe I found that these supplemental exercises you know, weren't the best for me. So it's gonna be just you experimenting on what works for you and plugging and playing and have to have some sense of auto-regulation as well. Once again, I may cut some things out, like if I'm doing accessories and I feel like I really got what I needed in with the first two accessories, maybe I don't do a third one, Hey, flip side is maybe you need more accessory work, you can do that, or maybe you need more volume when it comes to the strength stuff. I don't know, I'm just trying to bring up these concepts and ideas for you to play around with. Another question I got is gonna be, you know, what kind of warm ups am I doing? Depends on the day, depends on how I'm feeling. Sometimes I do something similar to a winning warm up, other times I'm feeling good, or maybe I was very active that day, pretty loose. I'll get right to the variation and use that variation as my warm up, uh, you know, once again, depends. Uh, I'm not overly concerned with any sort of conditioning, but you know, you can throw in some conditioning where you see fit, whether that's gonna be before or after, I don't know, plug and play around with it. But I just wanna give you guys an example of a max effort lower day, kind of my thoughts about it, how I'm using the principles of conjugate method uh, to what I'm doing now, and you guys play around, find what works best for you, Love the conversation, so put it down in the comments section. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. If you wanna find other ways to help support me, all in the link tree. We got program templates, we got the app, we got the Patreon, all sorts of goodies, so click that. Any of the support means the absolute world to me, and hopefully you enjoyed this. So, stay a lean, mean, strength, health machine. Catch you guys next time. Peace.